Hey, welcome back to another episode of CX Riot Radio, where we talk about customer experience and stuff still in a hyper-caffeinated state. I'm David, the caffeinated CXO, and you know what? I'll be your host today. I'll be your host. Because, well, that's just the way it is, as you all know. So... Before we start, I just want to uh, let you all know, I do not run ads for this show. I barely uh, promote it at all, other than on LinkedIn, and sometimes on Instagram, when I remember. And that's okay. That's fine. So, because of that, in order to make the show grow, I'm going to need your help. You, the people that listen, or watch or read whatever you know you lovely people i love you so if you could rate review like comment share the show so we can make the show grow well i would appreciate that very much so today today late may 2024 are you prepared are you prepared for the next industrial revolution it's already happening we're already here but are you ready for it what have you done to be ready for it so now first let's bring in customer service to this industrial revolution are we witnessing the death throes of human-led customer service? Are we in the last days of being able to reach a living representative of a company we're trying to do business with? Is everyone switching their customer service departments into self-service Gen AI chatbots and automated voice agents? A rising number of companies are doing this. Now, if that was the case, if the majority of companies did this, what would be the cost to customers, to current employees, and to the business's bottom line and future growth? Are companies cutting off their own nose to spite their face right now? Let's, let's face it right now. We have an uncertain economy. People are saying inflation is high. It is, if you look at the big picture. Oh, it came down by 0.02%. Cool. All those future, all those past increases are still there. Wow. Eggs are still $5 a dozen. Cool. A 12-pack of soda? $10. Ten dollars. So, in an uncertain economy, cost cutting is unavoidable. You have to tighten the belt. You have to cut off the fat. And it's easy to get caught up in that panic and cut deeper than you should or even need to. Customer, customer support, customer service, even sales and more roles are in the crosshairs as companies continue to streamline and right-size their businesses. We go through this every 15 or so years. And while AI companies are rightly saying AI and automation tools are there to augment and assist employees, not to replace them, AI should be a co-pilot. You shouldn't have it on autopilot. Well, are companies following that spirit? Or are they just seeing the cost savings that may or may not exist and just being like, well, okay, screw it. Let's, uh, let's do this now without, uh, you know, the things being absolutely refined. And being where they need to go. I don't know. 
Now, in any kind of technological change and disruption, jobs and sometimes even entire industries are changed or even eliminated. We've all heard stories, right, about the ice block vendors and encyclopedia salespeople. They no longer exist because of refrigerators and the internet. But have we seen it at this scale, at this speed, across so many industries in so short a time? Before I'm labeled a Luddite or anti-AI, or as a follower of some political ideology that I probably hate, I am loving this AI revolution on a personal level. I think automation of menial, time-consuming, boring tasks, well, I think those are just the bee's knees. But I'm also, some would say, notoriously realistic, others would say pessimistic, about reality. So, just like nobody really cared when manufacturing and customer service was outsourced in the 80s and the 90s, unless it directly affected them, of course, we're seeing the same thing now. When any knowledge work is on the chopping block and white-collar work is going the way of the dinosaur, where are people going to go? Well, the easy answer is start encouraging our children and the upcoming generation to look into blue-collar work and the trades. Plumbers, HVAC techs, electricians, yada, 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 aren't at the same risk as the following careers. Customer support, graphic designers, journalists, copywriters, marketing directors, programmers, on and on and on and on. It is what it is, as they say, and we have to be prepared. The world has to also be prepared for the vast amount of unemployed people that are on the horizon. And with everything already strained, it's going to take a miracle to prevent massive spike in homelessness. So... The question, what are you doing to prepare yourself for the next industrial revolution? Are you doing anything? Are you just uh, hoping it won't affect you? We have AI bots now, AI programs, AI algorithms that will do your marketing for you, including uh, placing bids for PPC, making ad copy making uh, creative, right? So, not much future left in the marketing departments, right? Customer service is being taken over by chatbots and voice agents. And uh, you know what? They're actually doing pretty well. So, programming, that can be done with AI. Now, none of it's perfect yet, but um, this right now, AI is at the worst, we'll see it, right? It's just going to get better from here. Now, I know the EU is making laws and stuff like that about AI and the right to speak to a human and everything else, but I don't know. Um, people are being let go left, right, and center. It uh, doesn't matter how much experience you have or how long you've been with a company. Is if the cost cutting is there, right? I mean, and you can't blame the businesses for it. They're going to do what businesses do. Businesses have to run. They have to operate and they have to make a profit, right? And if they can get something that doesn't sleep, doesn't take breaks, doesn't call out sick, unless ChatGPT goes down, then, uh, yeah, it's kind of a no brainer from a business standpoint, and while I am a firm believer of profit or people over profit and, you know, power to the people, power to the worker, workers' rights and everything else, um, 
yeah, businesses are going to do what businesses always do, right? It's all about the bottom line. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. In fact, it's what should be expected. Just like how uh, we didn't prop up the ice block delivery man, right? Or the milk delivery person, right? When uh, grocery stores came about and we had refrigeration in every home, right? Where, yeah, we, we don't prop up VCR repairmen, right? Or uh, DVD player repairmen. I mean, gosh, I can't remember the last time I actually uh, had a physical copy of a movie uh everything's streamable and if it's not streamable there's other ways to get it if you know what i mean so we're at the cusp right now we're at the beginning we're still at this whole uh the infancy of this new industrial revolution and it's already taking its toll right now artists are feeling it graphic designers um some people might say those are the same thing but they're not um musicians um copywriters customer service people sales even it's all being uh it's all being taken over by ai and you know what that it is what it is what are we going to do about it right so the best thing to do is diversify your skill set right learn how to use the ai enough that if uh someone has a question about it or it goes bad you can step in and help fix it those are the that's the best way to at least survive for now is to understand what's happening and not enough people are actually taking the time to sit down and mess around with these uh with these things so i mean that's on them isn't it so it's like when someone refuses to use excel and refuses to learn how to use Excel or Google Sheets or any of those, right? What what good are they in an office environment if they won't even learn Excel, right? Or, um, hey, can you make me a pivot table of this? Uh, I don't know how to do that. Okay, um, it takes a minute to do, but sure, sure. And then uh, what what good is that? If uh, people can't make and analyze and uh, do reporting, I, I don't know. Um, or like not learning your CRM, right? It's the same concept. This is the way the world is going. We're becoming more automated. We're becoming more efficient. And sometimes there's birthing pains when it comes to new revolutions. And that's to be expected. Um, now, should there be... A safety net in Western society in any society that will help catch the people whose lives are disrupted by the new industrial revolution probably yeah I mean things like universal basic income uh, general assistance um, maybe prolonging the unemployment uh, benefits that people get when they get laid off or let go or become redundant because of uh, technological advancement. Yeah, we should definitely bring that up for our discussion. But again, businesses are going to do what businesses have always done. And when it comes to cutting costs, that's the way it is, right? I mean, we've all, most of us here, have been through tough economic times before. 2008, the, the dot-com bubble and so on and so forth it's nothing new it's like again like i said every 15 or so years something happens with the economy and it corrects itself and uh people suffer because of it because in the good times people don't save people don't invest and there's no shame in that some people can't afford to save or invest and we have to uh we have to make it that um you know, those people don't starve in the streets. I don't know. I don't know. But here we are. We're halfway through 2024. The layoffs are increasing, right? More companies are cutting budgets and cutting staff, cutting overhead, and replacing it with uh, AI. And that's just the way it is. That's what's happening. That's the stark reality of it. 
now our businesses uh, thinking clearly and going through all the options and making it so that uh, you know there's a nice uh, transition period. Some are. Some are just pulling the cord, like the majority of us did with cable, right? We just cut the cord. Well, the, the businesses are just ripping off the Band-Aid, seeing the cost savings, and if uh, revenue goes down for a little tiny bit, well, if the cost savings make up for it, then the cost savings make up for it. It is what it is. What are you going to do? What are they going to do? Nothing. But we are standing at the precipice of a new era, right? And the power that AI has right now in its infancy is astounding. I mean, look what you can do with uh, ChatGPT or Claude or uh, Perplexity. Perplexity probably is the best search engine right now. It's much better than Google. Um, is AI going to mess up? Yeah, messes up all the time. Is it more right than it's wrong? Eh, probably, yeah. Right? Does it make uh, make it easy to uh, do all these uh, simple tasks that you'd pay someone like $17, $18, $19 an hour for um, without calling out and being able to do it 24-7? Yeah. Yeah. So, and it doesn't stop at like the entry-level positions. No, you can replace a lot of executives with, uh, with AI. And I think that's coming next. And as soon as that happens, well... Well, I think uh, I think the conversation is going to be a little bit different, right? So there are business models out there that you can run with one person and an AI. And um, honestly, you can automate most of that. So you only have to collect a paycheck, right? So, I mean, get on that while you can. Because uh, soon, as soon as people figure out what those are, those are going to be a dime a dozen. And that, uh, that market's going to be uh, saturated. So... I mean, it is what it is. It is all what you make of it, right? So, and if you want to be competitive, you're going to have to look into some of this stuff. And you're going to have to bite the bullet and rip off the Band-Aid. Uh, right now, um, people can't afford anything, right? People can't afford high-ticket items. Um, if they do buy them, it's on, like, financing. And then they're stuck with a monthly payment for the next, like, five years. So... And we saw this starting with things like uh, the buy now, pay over four times later. And those got a lot, a lot of traction. And when that happened, a lot of us were like, oh, that's not a good sign, is it? That's not a good sign at all. But it kind of escalated from there. And now, I mean, you go to the grocery store and you buy like two bags worth of food and it's 60 bucks. I'm talking about like the high price stuff. You're not filling those two bags with ribeye and lobster tails. No, you're filling them with rice and other essentials, right? So, I mean, it is what it is. Prices are out of control right now. People are suffering and people are losing their jobs. And in any of those uh, ones that I read off that are in danger, I mean, it's crazy. I mean, just look at the... Uh, the gaming industry right now and all those layoffs that's getting crazy that's getting excessive but it's gonna start filtering into other industries too other industries that people thought they were safe from this it's just gonna keep escalating and without a safety net without a societal safety net uh, we're going to uh, really feel it in the next few years if not months every time I say hey that's not gonna be ready for another year or so someone surprises me and it's already done so but if you're in customer service or customer support if you're a graphic designer if you're a journalist if you're a copywriter or you're a marketing manager or director or whatever or you're into programming you learn to code well your jobs are kind of in the crosshairs right now and I'm not saying this to be like, you know, anything. I'm just saying this because it's true. And I think we all have to be prepared for it. So what are you doing to prepare? How are you preparing yourself for what's coming? For this new industrial revolution? 
And there is no uh, right or wrong answer because we don't know. We don't know how fast everything is going to escalate. We don't know how fast this is. things are going to progress. Right now, if it's any indication, it's progressing really fast. I mean, scripted or not, the new chat GPT 4.0 or whatever it is, that new update was freaking amazing. Right? And if it was scripted, it was scripted. Who cares? Because that stuff is coming. I mean, it's just like back in like the 2018 when Google released that uh, voice AI bot right and it was clearly scripted right it was clearly fake but that stuff's real now right and that only took five years and what used to take five years is now taking like five months and it's going to come to the point where what used to take five months is going to take five weeks and then five weeks is going to take five days and then five days is going to take five hours and then eventually it's going to go down to minutes and seconds so are you learning the new stuff are you learning how to write prompts and get the best possible information and data and details from gen ai if you're not what, what's wrong with you get on it you, you you need to learn this stuff this is it's non-negotiable anymore you need to learn how this stuff works you need to learn how to work with it you need to let it help you structure your day. If you don't, you won't have a choice. I don't know. I, I, I don't even know what else to say about it. We are at the beginning of a new era, of a new industrial revolution, like I keep saying. And a lot of people are going to find themselves out of work because they didn't do the back work, the leg work, to figure out how it worked and how they can leverage it to advance themselves. Don't let yourself be left behind. Do what you can to get up to speed with this stuff and then try to make some money with it. Money is going to be in short supply if things keep going the way they're going. Right. So, I mean, all we have to do is look at the job reports, right? Yeah, gross jobs are up, but the majority of those jobs are either government jobs or part time jobs. Full time jobs, as of the last one that I read, full time jobs are down. Partly because of all the automation and the um, AI takeover of businesses and it's, it's, um, it's amoral is what it is. It's neither good nor bad. AI is a tool, right? And that's where it stands. You can do with a tool, whatever you want to do with a tool, right? You can use it for good. You can use it for bad. Companies can either use it to augment and assist their employees, or they can use it to replace their employees now i'm in the first camp with that i think it should be a co-pilot as opposed to ai being autopilot but not everybody thinks like me if they did it would be a very boring world we'd probably have more people employed and uh the drawback is there'd be less uh profit so and sometimes there needs to be a balance between the two but Businesses are going to do what businesses have always done. We need to remember that, right? We need to remember that businesses are there to make a profit for their shareholders, for the owner of the company, and whoever else. Period. And yeah, you can't put a moral judgment behind that. Businesses do what businesses do. And if they find a way to do something faster, something cheaper, they're going to do it. As long as it doesn't sacrifice the customer experience, as long as it doesn't create a, uh, a sinkhole in CSAT, all the more power to them, right? Uh, maybe they can put those savings all over to the customer. Not likely, but they won't have to raise their prices as much as quickly. Right, which is a win for the customer. 
it's a win for that company too so i mean it is what it is let me know what you feel about this i'll see you guys next time don't really don't forget to uh you know do that thing that i mentioned earlier like share comment blah 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 this is cx riot radio signing out